be you. Hmm. I woke up before the alarm went off. Set my alarm earlier than normal, but I guess it wasn't any use. There's nothing I can do at this point. I crawled out of bed and decided to change. I leapt into the air when the alarm suddenly went off. It was a bit of a delayed reaction on my part, though. I rushed to turn the alarm off. I ate my breakfast early, and when I left the house earlier than usual, I ran into Otone. Oh, hi, Otone. Where's Yume? That's too bad. Yeah, I woke up before the alarm went off. Maybe I'll make an effort too then. I hate mornings, and I always have a habit of waking up in mornings these days. <laughs> Otone smiled and started to walk. Otone and I walked side by side to school. So, yeah, but, uh, Amatase san, Dakke, Kino Kitako. Amatase? That's Amakase, yeah, uh, Amakase Minatsu. Ah, so, so, Amakase san. So it wasn't that uh, typo then, this time. What about her? Um, Nanka, Omosiraiko da yo ne? You think so? When she put it that way, I could say she was interesting, but I couldn't explain why she was interested in Tortone. So I played the fool. That's being yourself, though. I think she is rather plain. Gek. Tortone seemed to be very easygoing, but perhaps she was unexpectedly sharp. Chalk it up to women's intuition. Uh, what do you mean, a uh, secret? Interesting, huh? I think she's more strange than interesting. Well, she was a robot or not, the word strange described her eccentric. It is better than the word interesting. But as we walked and talked, we saw Amkazi ahead of us. Amakaze must have noticed us because she stopped and took a quick look at us. But she looked away and continued to walk. Was she ignoring us? I frowned and Otone shook her head to pacify me. <laughs> Suddenly, Hamikaze scratched her head violently and ran towards us. But why? Hamikaze stopped in front of us. I? <laughs> And because they spoke without even looking at us and then ran towards the school building. Like I said, strange. Matane giggled. As festive as the skip button. And your bug like eyes. I always have to go along with the music like that, don't I? I do that a lot with music, don't I? I just said don't I twice there. Phew, now I know you really can die at the store. How? I survived the death trap known as the school store and obtained what I was after. You didn't die though, so how do you know? Did someone die there? I felt a sense of satisfaction. I chuckled as I looked at my booty to the victor went to spoils indeed. I can't wait until I get back to the classroom, I thought of eating it here then. I heard a strange noise. What's that noise? 
I thought I'd heard it somewhere before. I looked around and headed in the direction where the noise was coming from. Then I found Amikaze crouching in the corner of the staircase landing. As she sat on the floor, Amikaze was wholeheartedly eating a banana. It's you, I followed the noise, and here you are, Amikaze. Come to think of it, I'd heard this alarm sounding from her bracelet before. Amikaze didn't reply, but just kept focusing on eating the banana. Hey, what's that timer on your bracelet for, anyways? I thought maybe she couldn't hear, but Amikaze glared at me for a moment before continuing to eat the banana. Hey, that's rude. If you love bananas that much, go ahead and eat all you want. Amikaze, who truly had been ignoring me, suddenly objected. I guess the love bananas part aggravated her. But no matter how I looked at it, she looked like a girl who loves bananas. You could say she looked bananas for bananas. But that's stupid. Amikaze needed bananamin, a substance contained in bananas, or else she couldn't function in properly. However, Amikaze hated bananas. Amikaze slammed the banana peel onto the floor. That's a bad idea. As she screamed, she stomped on the banana peel on the floor. I predicted that. Ah! By the time I realized that it was too late, I was about to see what has never been seen in the real world by anyone that I've ever heard. Seriously, has anyone ever seen someone slip on a banana peel? I'm because of who stomped on the banana peel with all her might slipped and fell. I mean, it's used as a joke a lot, but it probably has happened plenty of times in real life, but I've never seen it happen. I've never even heard of anyone mention that they've seen it happen either. Are you okay? I reached out to Amikaze. Now she tried to grab my hand. Suddenly she flung off my hand. Well, if you say so. Amikaze silently swept the dirt off her backside. You know, it's always weird when someone's like, I can get up on my own. It's like, I'm just trying to help you out. I'm trying to be polite. It's like, fuck you. I can imagine someone being so resistant with that. If, like, falling off a cliff. And just like, grab my hand. I'm not, I can do this myself. I've never seen someone slip and fall on a banana peel before. So even in your world, that's kind of not a very common sight. I spoke admiringly. Then I get that again aggravated Amikaze and she glared at me sharply. It was a comedy skit that I was doing especially for you to thank you for the curry or something. That's my excuse. Okay, okay, I understand. I shrugged my shoulders and nodded. I guess my attitude aggravated her as well. Do you want me to walk you to your classroom? <laughs> what? Wabu? Amikaze threw the banana peel at my face and ran off. She's gone. Then he went to his classroom with the banana peel still on his face. Everyone, we're going to skip the scene. The entrance way, which we rarely go to. It's over, it's over. I stretched and quickly gathered my stuff. Akane and Mataro spoke to me with the intention of going somewhere on the way home. Hmm. There's a show I wanted to watch, so I was thinking of going home early today. Of course, all I have to do is to go home when it's time, even if I went out with them. 
However, I always end up staying late once we get together. Sorry, I'll pass today. Well, you should be used to it. See ya. I raised my hand and left the classroom smiling like an announcer on an election car. When I got to the shoe lockers, I just... I just was a stupid thing. You know, like, when people, like, announce an election or something like that, you just know somewhere, someone at an important kind of event has accidentally said, and now we will let the erections begin. I mean, elections. When I got to the shoe lockers, I saw Amikaze standing by herself. She looked lonely. Yo, Amikaze. Nanda, Sakuraiko. That's not a nice greeting. Are you going home now? I talked to you because you were standing there on on your own, looking lonely. Uh, sorry about that. I brushed her off. I shrugged my shoulders and headed to my shoe locker. By the way, I thought of something and stopped. Come on. That's too bad, you shouldn't live that way. Amikaze let it aside, but I continued. By the way, haven't you made any friends yet? Well, I've never seen you with anyone except Yume. I thought maybe you're having a hard time getting along with others in your class. You know, it could be like one of those type, kind of like me actually. Just hang out with a few people, just have one or two close friends, not like have like a million friends. When I was back in school back in the day, I like had one or two good friends, and like the rest of the class, I was like, I was friends with them in the kind of school way. In school, it could like, you know, it interacts just like, yeah, hello, blah, blah, blah. But when it came to outside, that just like one or two friends, that's it. Because I'm not like an overly outgoing person. I've always been very shy, even before the development of the social anxiety at a later point. It sucks. Oh, is she saying that she's surprisingly sociable? Huh. Are you sure it's fun to have friends? That's why I prefer dogs. Was it a... Uh, was a quote by someone, who was it? Was it a Mark Twain quote? I'm not sure if it's even legit, but... It goes... The more I learn about people, the more I like my dog. It's just like... Yeah, people can be such assholes that you just like, look at your dog, you just like... Well, he may do stupid things, but at least he's not an asshole. Well, he sniffs assholes and all that, but... It's better that way, man! At least he it doesn't talk shit to me, he's just like... You never know, man, maybe when he's barking, he's he's talking shit out of you, man. He's just like... Bark, bark, you're a piece of shit. Bark, bark, you're a piece of shit. No, that'd be absurd, but you never know. No, that... No, that really is absurd. Don't say that, that would make Yume sad. Amikaze gave me a look to confirm what she said and walked away. Huh. I let out a sign as I watched Amikaze walk away. It's fun to have friends, though. Then I remembered how bad I was at hanging out with my friends, and I scratched my head. It's just like, 
Shit, I'm really not one to talk on that. I tend to ditch my friends a lot for all the things. Shit. She's... I, I, I shouldn't be talking on these matters. It could be rather bothersome too. But Amikaze needs a friend whom she can trust. At least that's how it appeared to me. Skip, skip. The cooking lesson. Good evening. Uh, what day was it again? I think it was the 20th, wasn't it? So, wake up early. 21st. Yeah. Beep 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 um. The alarm suddenly slammed me into consciousness. I felt around for the clock with my hand and shut it up. It's more of those kind of annoying sounds. It just doesn't seem overly loud, but it's just like, ah, oh, turn that goddamn annoying beeping off. And I slowly got myself up. Hmm. I got up as normal. I felt like I'd had some dreams, but I didn't remember them. It's not usually the case, though, a lot of times. It's best not to remember dreams, anyways. <laughs> Sakura-san was still half asleep. Good morning, Sakura-san. I greeted Sakura-san and started to make breakfast. Sure, uh, toast and coffee, okay? Sounding a lot like Nayuki there. Understood. You normal people and your breakfast. I'd never have breakfast. I just wake up and I eat whenever the hell. I left the house, but didn't see Otney and Yume leaving there. I mean, went out back in the day when I was younger. Like, around about 2001, 2002 and all that. Basically, when I went to high school, I did not freaking have breakfast. I do not recall breakfast back then. Maybe before then. But around that time, I do not recall breakfast at all. In fact, I don't recall eating anything until after school. You know how people just like when it comes to lunchtime in school, it's like, oh man, I can't wait for lunch break, man, it's gonna be awesome, eat food and all that, and I'm just like, eh, I'll just buy a drink and not even drink until I get home. Just like, that's, but you should eat stuff, just like, yeah, but that would involve me just like being in this crowded ass cafeteria filled with people and that kind of sound you always hear in rooms where there's people chanting, it's like, you know, that weird sound, I don't know what the hell you'd call it. It's weird. When you got like multiple people talking, it becomes a different sound entirely. You can't work out what any of it is. It's like mumbling or something. I, I just like don't like crowded places, so I was like, ah, screw it. I'll just buy something from vending machine. I left the house, but didn't see up there and you're leaving theirs. Did they go to school already? It was possible that they were still asleep. Or was it? I'm not sure about Otne, but it's definitely possible with you, mate. As I thought about that, I headed to the Kasami Academy. When I got to the Cherry Blossom Tree Line Street, I saw Amikaze walking towards me. Yo! It's unusual to see you here at this hour. Yes, it is. Not really, but I thought you took the bus to school. I ran into some of the students who took the bus on the main approach, but never this far out. Oops. Hmm. I see. 
You didn't notice your alarm clock was running fast, so you woke up earlier than normal and got on the bus without realizing it. And got to school way too early, so you decided to take a walk, huh? Okay, okay, but where the hell does she live? Does she just go back to the cave? Does she have an alarm on that thing as well? Anyway, what a silly story. Can you imagine? <laughs> And I just like, so where, where's your house? Where do you live, Amikaze? Ah, in a cave in the forest. What? I can't believe a robot did that! <laughs> no? Amikaze glared at me. And the cars they snorted and then headed in the direction of school at a fast pace. Oh boy. I've been thinking about this scene and I think we've seen it before and I think I've made this kind of similar comment the last time we saw this scene before. So you know what that means? That means skipping! I feel slug today. That's me almost every day. Just like, especially when you wake up, you're just like, oh, okay, I'm going back to sleep. Then you try to go to sleep and you can't, or you try to go back to sleep and you're like, oh shit, I've got to do something today. Ah, oh, crap! It was lunch break, but I just didn't feel like participating in the scramble at the store. Just like you may like saying, it felt bothersome. Should I go to the cafeteria? Hmm, yeah, that's a good idea. Huh? When I was on the way to the cafeteria, I smelled something burning. I looked around and saw that the top of the stairs was filled with smoke. Don't tell me. The other students around me were looking up to see what was going on. I went up the stairs in a hurry. Amikaze! Amikaze had collapsed on the upper floors, landing with smoke coming out from her head. Fortunately, there was nobody around. Why is no alarm going off, or is it just because it's just the smoke, or what? Amikaze! I ran up to her. She had run out of banana min. Do you have any bananas in your bag? <laughs> Amikaze nodded weakly. Okay! I grabbed Amikaze's bag and ran up the stairs with Amikaze in my arms. That must make a weird sight. I laid Amikaze down on the rooftop and searched her bag. Here it is! There was a cluster of bananas. I took a banana from the cluster and peeled it. Here, Amikaze, here's a banana. <laughs> there was no liveliness in Amikaze's eyes. I broke a small piece from the banana and put it in her mouth. <laughs> Amikaze moved her tiny mouth and chewed the banana. <laughs> Here, another one. I put another small piece of the banana into her mouth. My fingertips touched her lips. They were so soft I couldn't believe they belonged to a robot. After eating two pieces of the banana, and because his eyes finally regained their color and the smoke was letting up. And because they took the rest of the banana and started to slowly eat it. She frowned occasionally, probably because she didn't like the taste of bananas. I just watched her for a while. Yeah, yeah, that actually is shit in Japanese, isn't it? And because they finished eating the banana and cursed, although I've also heard that it's more... It could be like shit, or it could be just damn. So, it's pretty much the same thing. It's weird how the word shit is used in such ways, isn't it? I mean, you just be like, like for example, shit in a positive kind of way. You're just like, this is some good shit. You just like, and then you just like, that's shit. That's pure shit. That's utter shit. And all that means that it is essentially. Well, even then, it's just like another example is crap. 
It's the same thing, but it's used the same way. It's just... It's weird, isn't it? Then she was at a loss for words. Don't say that, you aren't equipped with perpetual motion, are you? Uh, even the humans have to eat in order to live, it's the same thing. What? Well, what's your answer supposed to be for this silly question? Uh, it says any choice. I don't like to eat. Why? I basically like to. Well, basically, yes. Although sometimes I think it's too much trouble to eat. Though <laughs> it's like you know, I get lazy sometimes. I just like, why do we have to eat? It's such a chore. If we didn't have to eat, man. That would solve so many problems and probably create more problems, actually, now that I think about it, to replace those old problems. Well, uh, your position could be worse. I mean, they could be using you like, well, you know, as testing, just like, okay. We've got a variety of different bananas. We're trying to create the perfect banana, and we're going to have you as the tester. What a dilemma. Oh no, I don't like the looks of that. No! Come on, for bitch! When it lags, I know for a fact that it's got out of sync when it gets to the editing! If you noticed in the previous part, that's what happened as well. You may have noticed a couple of bit of echo between here and there. It was because of me just saying, I can't be fucking arsed to edit every last bit of it. And like, you may have like seen a split second of black. Just like the screen goes black for like a split second at some various points. That's because I have to balance it out. Because like, I think it's... I'm not sure which one... It's just confusing because the audio, the commentary, and the video. One of them goes out of sync and I can never work it out. So I kind of move the footage and audio to a bit away from the in-game audio and try to balance it, or sometimes it's the other way around and it's a pain in the ass. I just usually look at the length between the two because they split into two different files. Which is convenient and inconvenient at the same time because it's convenient because I could, you know, edit it much better. But it's inconvenient because if it was all in one, it probably wouldn't have this problem in the first place. Did you by any chance, did she not eat a banana on purpose? But what if I didn't walk by? What were you going to do? As I felt amazed by her recklessness, Amakaze broke off a banana from the cluster and held it out to me. You know, did we ever see Amakaze at any other point in the Nanaka route, like, and the common route? in the previous playthrough, after the curry part. If so, maybe. No, that wouldn't make sense. If this scene actually happens, like, in every route, I just imagine that... What's her name again? Uh... The woman with the glasses and the goofy faces that she makes. She would've probably turned up. I guess she felt grateful. <laughs> When Amakaze finished talking, she went down the stairs. I was left alone on the rooftop. I ate the banana Amakaze gave me as I looked up to the sky. The banana Amakaze gave me was very sweet and very tasty. Miata-san to Shukuro-san de onegai shimasu ne. Sore kara ishou desu ga, 
Does she even have any purpose in the story other than just to be there for the class president role or what? I think she has a route in a different version of the game, but not in this version. So she kind of didn't really get much development on this part, did she? But here's, here's a question. If there was one food that you had to eat on a daily basis, what would be the worst thing you can possibly imagine? The taste. And not like something stupid that you've never eaten and would never eaten, but the worst thing you've eaten is the thing you have to eat every day for the rest of your life. What would it be? For me, I don't know, so you'll probably give the same reaction, because I can't really remember... Well, I know I've eaten things that made me go... But... I can't really recall what would be the worst. But anyway, we're skipping. Skip a skip. Be 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 the classroom. As soon as home remended, Akane, who was sitting in front of me, stretched. Ouch! As Akane stretched, her fist hit me. <laughs> Watch out! It would have been a KO if it was her breasts. Actually, it only touched me lightly, so it didn't really hurt. But it's standard form for people to say ouch when it happens. It's also standard for a gamer to say ouch whenever a character gets hit in game. Haven't noticed that? That's not the point, be careful. <laughs> That's even worse. <laughs> and Zoom muttered that she watched us. She looked at us coldly rather than in amazement. Some intruder came into the half-empty classroom. A few of the students paid attention to the intruder. Amikaze. What made her come to our classroom? What made Amikaze come to this classroom? I think we'll leave it for another part because, uh... I don't... I get the feeling that this part has gone out of sync, probably early on, because he usually does that, because it's just like, ha ha ha, get to editing, you shithead. Like, I've got October to edit for. Jesus Christ, I hate when I have to freaking edit it bit by bit. Well, it's not really that I have to edit it but bit by bit, I just have to figure out where the hell the balance is. And if I can't find that, I just mute the freaking audio that's attached to the video file so that you can only hear the in-game sound but not the microphone one because my microphone picks there up there you know music voice acting and it kind of makes it echo the music isn't as noticeable or noticeable at all really difference but the voice acting on the other hand has an echo to it if I don't balance it out if it goes out of sync so that's a pain in the ass. Well, anyways, we'll see you next time, viewers. See you next time.